know this is not a spring chicken. Yes, well, Wintergate still continues, and you're wondering, why is it going on for so long? Well, let's just say it does take some attention away from other issues like the economy. Meanwhile, we're going to bring on the with comments on the headlines of today. Yes, get a good ocean. Yeah. And Wiener is being cheered by the New York Democrats and blaming the problems on Bush and the Republicans. Well, he said that, that you know, that, that he inherited this problem from George Bush. I love that. Yeah. And that the Republicans are the only ones that are pushing the issue. No, I mean, uh, senior Democrats would like him to go away because he's interfering with their election plans. But unfortunately, he's not interfering with Obama's election plans. And Obama will throw anyone under a bus. I mean, you're looking at he's probably been promised the mayorship of New York City if he lets, if he hangs around and lets that pile on him. And Obama plan is to continue spending because that is what? I mean, that's why the market has fallen the day to the highest it's felt any one day during his presidency because the public is not demanding more spending. The public is saying stop spending and no, so they, his senior Democrats in the Senate basically are pushing a new jobs bill and a new stimulus bill because the first one works so well that the public is demanding a second one. So, yeah. U.S. denies Clinton is seeking World Bank chief position. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Obama wants to put Clinton in charge now. He's saying that she's saying she's not looking at it, but he figures he can put somebody in there that won't criticize his spending. Mm -hmm. And Obama to take money, money from business if they will not hire. Oh, I heard that this morning. They said that they're setting on trillions of dollars of money that could be going to help the uh, the people of this nation, and if they won't help the people of this nation, then they're probably going to have to, uh, to get the money from them one way or the other, which once again is a violation of the law, because he just can't go seize assets, but then again he did with uh, the car companies, remember? And the, Yeah, that's true. And the whole world is telling Obama to stop spending money. Yeah, you know, that's why he's trying to put Hillary Clinton in charge of the world, you know, bank, so that she can, so she'll... Uh, get that organization to stop meeting on them and um, you know so it's just sort of ridiculous folks and half the country wilts under unrelenting heat yeah and <laughs> look, what you look at us folks I mean there is nobody oh, out here I mean yeah. it is totally a vacant beach and and, <clears throat> and let's put it this way the, the non spring shake is hiding behind the cameraman I was because it is cold out here so <laughs> And half the, oh, E. coli sur survivor describes pain and chaos at the hospital. Well, yeah, because nobody knows how to handle the problem because no one's ever, <clears throat> they've created another super bug, folks, and it has to do with the fact that uh, they're not allowed because of environmentalists to use what is needed to kill the strains of these things, so they develop into more villainous strains than they had before. And leading Democrat from the Elsa's double dip is coming. I know, isn't that a great one of Obama's closest economic advisors said that because the president, he's blaming it on the president's interference with the financial systems in this nation. He said that homes are going to dip another, they're going to lose more in value. You can't borrow money to buy them, to buy anything. And he's basically stopped the foreclosure situation. Therefore, the people are losing more and more on their homes. They can't refinance. They can't do this. So everything is going to get it. They're looking for a total meltdown, which is basically six weeks of meltdown already. And Sarah Palin uses media to publicize a bus tour. Yeah, basically she's pushing. She, they said, well, she's hurting the Republican candidates by continuing this uh, run for the presidency. Uh, well, one third of the Republican, she has more support for president in the Republican Party than anyone else. But she can't win because the Republican, uh, you know, their, their establishment will not support her. No, the men won't support her. The women control the votes, folks, not the men. But then, the, here's a good one this morning. The, the uh, New York Times New York, and the Washington Post got caught uh, out telling their readers to, uh, to read the Sarah Palin emails that are being released by the, uh, Alaska and, tell the, and to dig up the dirt on her for them. They said it's called a violation of the federal campaign rules using the press to be opposition research for you. So Obama is denying that he has anything to do with it, but of course everyone knows that the people in the left media do this in cooperation with Obama. And Nubian mummies had modern disease. 
Yeah, where do they think modern diseases came from? I mean, they, they found uh, traces of AIDS way back, you know, thousands of years ago. What happens is they just, uh, they, they come, people build a resistance, they go away, and then people lose the resistance and they come back out again. It's getting dark down here. I know. The town's covered in Fort Mosaic, as well as tourists to Tech Town. Yeah, because uh, why would you want to spend the money to do something that expensive? <laughs> They're coming to see the idiot, so. And luggage maker Samsung plans IPO in Hong Kong. Which I don't understand. But it, it's because they don't want to do IPO. Okay, nobody wants to do anything in the United States anymore oh. because they've got problems with the Obama administration. So. I know, so they're driving that business all overseas. I know, they've got to shut, I mean, we're selling the New York Stock Exchange to the foreign countries because no one wants to do business here. Chicago Mercantile Exchange is getting ready to leave Illinois because of, of uh, taxes from the Democrats, so. And Clinton says Gaddafi Associates seeking to negotiate. No, that's Associates, that's not Gaddafi. I mean, these people have no power to do anything except basically try to... What's happening is all these people that are fleeing Gaddafi are, are now being arrested and thrown in a jail cell. So why would you want to negotiate a surrender which you know you're going to get put in a jail cell by? And lightning strike in Mississippi lands 77 cadets in the hospital. Yeah, hit the airplane and basically fried every... Okay, the remember planes, that normally plane gets hit by a lot of lightning strikes, but this one really got hit by too many. The entire top echelon of Newt Gingrich's presidential really? Yeah. campaign resigned on Thursday? What in the world happened? Well, they said they're smelling the blood in the water. First of all, Gingrich is an old man. He looks like an old man. And you're not going, what do you think that... Uh, that I know he had a presidential campaign. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was the first one to announce. But they said, uh, why do you think Mitt Romney is trying to look like, you know, wearing his... Uh, Romney does not wear jeans and plaid shirts, folks. You know, he's doing that because he's trying to look young. He's in his 60s. They Merkel, do. Merkel backs Lazard to the IMF team. Yeah, they, they, they want Hillary Clinton to be the chief, though, folks, not him. Microsoft loses U.S. Supreme Court case on Pat. Well, they always lose the cases on patents. Microsoft survives by basically fighting court battles until the patent, until it's no longer worth anything. Then they'll pay a, a pay something worth less than the, what it would have cost them to buy it to begin with, and uh, and just walk away from it. That's Microsoft. In chronic pot smoking affects brain chemistry. Scans show. I, I know. Isn't that a terrible thing with his his uh, his medical people? are now supporting the idea that pot smoking is not good for you while Obama is trying to push, you know, it's a benevolent thing. We can make money off of selling it. In mm -hmm. latest attack, hackers steal Citibank card and data. I know, but don't worry, folks. They only got your name, your email, and your Social Security number, and they didn't get your entire bank number. Uh, you don't need it because you have everything else. The guy's basically, he's becoming a dictator. And this is what happened. The, uh, the Muslims kicked out the Shah of Iran to replace him with somebody that they thought was on their side. Now the, uh, the guy that helped kick out the Shah of Iran is basically getting ready to bury the uh, Islamic movement there and uh, run the country himself now. Kim Coates gross goes long, non-U.S. debt, short swap. I know. Uh, it, 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 Obama doesn't get the message. Sooner or later, he's even going to have to admit that things didn't work. And merchants beat bankers and Senate debit card vote. Oh yeah, and then the uh, bankers then dropped all the no uh, dropped all the no fee things that they were doing. Are you serious? Yeah. So the because the the uh, consumer lost massively because the the Democrats decided that they had to be consumer friendly. Every time they do something for the consumer, it costs them money. And IG says NRC chief hit information. They always have information. That's why they, that's why nobody trusts them. And the Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. And I guess it's always the sinners who seem to preach the most about forgiveness. 